Hello everyone. Today we will go through the highway engineering basic problem related with the flexible payments. And this video will prove to be very very vital and essential for the civil engineering aspirants as well as for those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So watch the complete video. Before going through the different defects and failures in the flexible payment, I want to add a powerful note that the single most powerful asset we all have is our mind and if it is trained well, it can create enormous wealth. This is the line that I have taken from the book called The Rich Dad and the Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Before highlighting the different defects and failures in the flexible payment, we need to know what flexible payment is. So the flexible payments are the payments with very low flexible strength and are flexible in their structural behavior under load. They transfer the vertical loads to lower layers with the grain to grain transfer mechanism. Now, the failure in the flexible payment occurs due to the failure in the subgrade or due to the failure in the subbase or base course or due to the failure in the wearing course. So these are the general layers of soil in which the fail failures of the flexible payment occurs. So these failures result into the typical failure patterns. So we will go through the typical failure patterns of the flexible payment in which we will discuss about the alligator cracking first. So this alligator cracking is much common type of flexible payment failure which mainly occurs due to relative movement of payment layer materials. This may be caused by repeated application of heavy load resulting in fatigue failure or moisture variation resulting in swelling and shrinkage of subgrades and other payment materials. The localized weakness in the underlying base course may also cause this type of the failure patterns. The second failure pattern or defects in the flexible payment is the consolidation of the payment layer that is the formation of the rods. So this formation of rod is mainly due to the consolidation of one or more layers. The repetitive action of load along the same wheel path cause cumulative deformation resulting in consolidation, deformation or longitudinal rods. The shallow rods on the surface course may be due to wearing along the wheel path. Consolidation deformation may be due to subgrade or other layer failure and can be estimated by the depth and the width of the rods. So the third failure of the flexible payment is the shear failure and cracking. This is mainly due to inherited weakness of payment mixes, due to the low sharing resistance and due to the inadequate stability or excessively heavy loading patterns. Shear failure causes upheaval of payment materials by forming a fracture or cracking. The fourth is the longitudinal cracking. So this type of failures are formed in payment traversing through the full payment thickness and are mainly due to the frost action and differential volume changes in the subgrade. Settlement of fill and sliding of side slopes would also cause this type of failure patterns in the flexible payment. The fifth type of the failures in the flexible payment is the frost heaving. So in the first heaving, there is an upward freezing of soil due to the freezing conditions and actions. 
and in the first heaving there is localized heaving of the pavement surfaces and it is mainly caused due to the groundwater and the climatic conditions sixth type of the defect in the flexible pavement is the formation of the potholes these potholes are formed due to the lack of the binding to the lower courses slipping occurs when the surface course is not keyed that is bound with the underlying base and this results in the opening of and the loss of the pavement materials forming patches and the potholes these conditions are more frequent when bituminous surfacing is provided over the existing cement concrete or the soil cement base course this is more pronounced when there is a lack of prime or tack coat between the layers the seventh type of the typical failure pattern in the flexible pavement is the reflection cracking and this type of cracking is absorbed in the bituminous overlays provided over existing cement concrete pavements the crack pattern in existing cement concrete patterns are reflected on bituminous surfacing in the same pattern there is no much influence on structural action of total pavement section but seepage of water through the cracks cause damage to the subgrade soil and results in the mud pumping type of the failure pattern in the flexible pavement is the formation of waves and corrugation so these corrugations are also known as the ripples and the waves are known as the sobing they are usually occurred at the traffic stop and the go places they are mainly caused due to the defective rolling due to the poor soil or subgrade condition due to the poor soil or inadequate stability they may be caused due to the poor mixed gradation likewise these Failure patterns are caused due to the poor compaction and unstable underlying layers. Finally, the final and the last typical failure pattern that exists in the flexible pavement is the water bleeding and the pumping. So this water bleeding is occurred when water seeps out from the joint from excessive porous joint and pumping occurs when water and fine materials are ejected from the underlying layers through cracks under the moving loading so friends if you find this video as useful you can like and share to your friends and for such videos stay tuned to this channel Thank you. We will meet soon in another video.